Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you for organizing this uh, session. I'm Carolina Megale. I'm an archaeologist. I'm here to present uh, the activity of the non-profit cultural association Past in Progress uh, here in the territory of Populonia. Populonia is uh, in Tuscany, so we can consider for Tuscany, Populonia, a minor site. In terms of archaeology, is uh, a minor site too in Italy, but for the territory, uh, the archaeological uh, remains are an important part of the economy, but not too well understood. Uh, by the local administration. Past in Progress uh, is an independent organization, but when we talk about cultural heritage in Italy, nothing is uh, independent. So we have uh, always to stay under the policy of uh, ministry and uh, also of the uh, uh, local administration Uh, the Cultural Association Past in Progress, it was uh, founded uh, in uh, two, 2010 uh, and uh, is in charge of many uh, projects, all connected with archaeology, starting from the archaeological research conduct obviously with the professionals, archaeologists and education, promotion, professionals dissemination and uh, um, improve the uh, uh, consapevolezza, awareness, awareness uh, of uh, archaeology with uh, the community and uh, uh, fundraising because all the activity conducted by Past in Progress are uh, conducted with uh, private funds. Here there are some of uh, the most important uh, projects carried on by the association. Archaeology in Cantiere is archaeology in yard. Uh, here you find the color of the different branch of uh, different sector of the um, topic of the association involved in each project. Um, when in Populonia uh, there are some uh, some uh, excavation not uh, connected with uh, with the uh, scientific and systematic research, but just to change a pipe, uh, it's uh, very uh, frequent to find some new to to have some new discover. And um, our aim is uh, to communicate. Uh, immediately to the general public what's happened. When uh, a street to go to the beach is closed because of uh, infrastructural uh, uh, excavation and, uh, and uh, the timetable is not respected because of the archaeological uh, uh, finds in, um, in less than uh, one year, it depends from the files obviously, we organize exhibition, conference, uh, and uh, here you have the cover of uh, two, uh, two books uh, where we communicate immediately with the simple language to the community what we found and the meaning of the find of the find found. This is another project. Uh, um, Piombino is uh, the, mu the municipality of, uh, of the Etruscan and Roman and medieval town of Populonia. And is known just uh, all around the world. Piombino is known because of the arbor to take the ferry to go to Elba Island. Uh, so we decided to use uh, uh, the space inside the, the building uh, 
uh, of the of the arbor to uh, let people know that from the arbor you can go to visit not just Elba Island but spend more than two hours in Piombino you can stay also two three four days and uh, have a wonderful archaeological and naturalistic tour in the area so here there are there is a small exhibition uh, to disseminate the presence of uh, of uh, Etruscans and archaeologists and so on. I don't have to explain this to you. I'm here <coughs> just to tell you what we are doing and uh, uh, why the um, activity conducted by Past in Progress could be a model um, that has been improved, obviously. Uh, there was a big flood in Populonia in uh, 2015. We started an, an emergency excavation. We discovered a wonderful Etruscan house. Uh, date back uh, between 5th, 4th century BCE and uh, we work with a public fund for the emergency and but uh, past in progress continue the excavation here with uh, uh, private funding um, here we are in um, private land so this just to tell you that when is possible and when uh, past in progress uh, is involved in uh, in the archaeological research uh, also carry on excavation look, uh, looking for funding to help uh, the uh, local administration and the superintendents in continue the uh, research Ejatuo is, uh, is already yours. In Italy, we have uh, the enormous problem of uh, the um, people, the community. Uh, they don't know what we have to find if we find an archaeological find. Uh, it's a souvenir in Italy, or the archaeological find in Italy uh, are souvenir for people. So here, there, uh, we... Uh, with Francesco Chizzani Marcia, that now is the president of, uh, of uh, um, Parchi Val di Cornia Society, that is a, a public society that manages other important sites in uh, the territory of Populonia, to write a book to explain that if uh, you take a piece of something of our past, uh, uh, you, you can go in prison. Past in Progress also work uh, with uh, the private uh, archaeological museum of Populonia. It's the Etruscan Museum of Populonia. Uh, it was born in 1946, and uh, after a renewal of the museum in 2015, Past in Progress organized exhibition connected with uh, archaeology and cantieri and the new discoveries the main discoveries in the territory. There are many excavation uh, in process in Populonia, conducted by universities, uh, private uh, association, in collaboration always with the uh, Ministry of Cultural Heritage. We organize a dinner, not not a special dinner, as a low cost dinner. Uh, all our uh, activities are low cost to involve all the people. And we pass it from uh, this number to uh, uh, 18,800 visitors in three years. Um, just to give you an idea of what. This is uh, the Archaeological Museum of uh, Populonia. is uh, is a small, is a private collection, three rooms museum. Nothing special because the most beautiful object was uh, stolen in uh, 1970 and 1950. But because of the location in the medieval castle, is an opportunity to disseminate archaeology, to talk about archaeology. So it's uh, the, the 
uh, most uh, uh, visited museum along the coast of Livorno and Grosseto, so the south coast of Tuscany. We also passed in progress with crowdfunding both a, a telescope to ins that is in, uh, now is on the terrace of the medieval tower of Populonia. <coughs> and we use the token, one euro of token, to finance archaeological research in Populonia. We installed last year, the 1st uh, August of uh, uh, 17, and we collect almost 2,000 euro last year that we spent to pay the um, accommodation to the Italian student involved in uh, archaeological excavation because we don't receive any funding from Italian universities. Uh, but the main project uh, of uh, Past in Progress uh, is uh, the excavation of uh, Poggio del Molino. Poggio del Molino is a Roman settlement based in the territory of Populonia, and this is uh, the organization of the excavation. Poggio del Molino, obviously. Uh, uh, the municipality of Piombino expropriate the site in 2014, and now ask and receive by the ministry the uh, possibility to uh, dig the um, concessione di scavo and uh, the, um, the municipality of Piombino give the scientific the direction of the excavation to the University of Florence in charge here of the excavation and uh, with uh, Past in Progress, our association, uh, Past in Progress is uh, in charge of uh, look for funding, dissemination, and with the funding, pay and organize the scientific uh, excavation conducted by University of Florence. Archeodig is uh, the project of the excavation conducted by professional archaeologist in charge of carrying on the research with the help of students of Italian and foreign universities, volunteers, Italian and foreign, and a young student of high school. Uh, dissemination is uh, again conducted by archaeologists with the school and uh, local community uh, with uh, the the our aim is uh, to realize uh, um, parco di archeologia condivisa share archaeology archaeological park this is the site is a is a um, roman fortress built at the half of the second century bce that then was uh, transformed in a farm with a sector for fish sauce production and uh, we discover also the owner of the farm in the uh, augustan period was Caio Caecina Largo of uh, the gens Caecina of Volterra one of the most rich and important Etruscan family according to Cicero for example and then the settlement was uh, transform in uh, um, a maritime villa in um, late second century CE. And so uh, how we conduct we, the research with the help of students in um, uh, with field school with American University and volunteer. All the people that participate in our excavation have to pay a fee to carry on the research. So we divide the budget with the people involved in the research. If Italian student can't pay, we find other solutions like the telescope to help them in, in uh, enjoy our research. 
some number of the students, volunteer and the schools, volunteers come from all around the world. We are supported by a uh, American uh, OMG called Earthwatch Institute and uh, that give us the volunteers no money. Uh, but we also decide to understand uh, the impact of our research on the territory so uh, we realize uh, an economic study impact uh, and um, with uh, one archaeological excavation we work with the nine professional archaeologists and we start with uh, 75,000 euro and we give an output on the around the excavation of 47 something and we save also uh, funding for other activity on the territory but the most important part of uh, our project is uh, the uh, economical impact with uh, all the territory not just with uh, with uh, our excavation so with uh, one euro spent in Poggio del Mulino, Poggio del Mulino generate three euro eighty five cent. Uh, we are working to realize uh, the Park of Archaeologia Condivisa, that is a park for the community born around an archaeological yard. So we don't we want to wait to become a, an arche traditional archaeological park. The identity of uh, Poggio del Mulino is uh, to be a yard where people can touch with their hands the past and be involved in the archaeological research. Uh, this uh, here is 10 here of our project in Poggio del Mulino. We realize always visit and also an exhibition. And the last Friday, we also organized for the first time um, a fundraising uh, event and in uh, Populonia, and uh, people that give us uh, a donation and contribution became Chives Populonienses and we collected 10,000 euro. Thank you.